Hey, Black Barn Social Club, God bless America. I'm gonna redo this video in this format because I end up talking too long. And, uh, and in the last video that I was doing in this format, the cat jumped on the car, I freaked out, and, uh, and I may put that in for bloopers later. But the other day, tens of you watched a video where I talked about trusting your gut. And uh, my wife even texted me and she's like, what are you talking about? What's, uh, what's going on? And, and I mean, I think what I'm getting at is that we all have something going on. Uh, you know, just not even two days after that, she and I are talking about her own situation where it's something similar. Um, and I think the human, the human part of us wants to be validated. We want to be able to, we want to be able to have our issue. We want to be able to go to someone else, discuss our issue with them, and then immediately have them go, yes, that's exactly what you ought to do. Yes, you should feel that way. Yes, it's okay to feel that way. Or no, you're crazy. But we, you know, point being is that we want to get our mind wrapped around it, and then we want to socialize it with others. I think the problem I have with that is that too often we stall in that moment, or too often we let the we let the the, the frustration and the pain of that moment simmer and settle, and to the point that when it's when it's time to act, we've lost our moment. We've just lost it, and then so, so you put up with something for another day, or you put up with something for another week. I keep walking in and out of the camera. Sorry. Um, so. I was giving that same advice to her about her situation, and then I saw two or three confirmations come at me from, from different places where, where, where I keep seeing there, there being this message that if, if you're feeling it, you're there. You know, if, if somebody's done you wrong, and you keep feeling that way around them or around the group or whatever that is, you're there. It's not, you know, you, you being able to express it or you finding other people to validate it is, is a mood point. If, if you feel that way, that's what you need to act, act on. Um, I don't know who needs to hear it. I don't know who's gonna watch this, but point being, I will say some stuff about clothes because I love some good clothes and it does get more attention in the, uh, I mean, it, it'll take a video that normally gets 10 views and get 15. So, uh, so I'll talk about the fit right now. Unbranded denim, 21 ounce jeans. These are the ones that have been worn quite a bit. They, uh, when you're doing the selvage denim stuff, I don't know how I'm gonna split this up because the, the topics are way different. But when you're doing the selvage denim stuff, the important thing to do is not wash too frequently. I know that sounds gross to a lot of people, but you don't go out there and ruin your clothes every day. So you just, you go out there and you, you, you do what you do in them, and then you take them off and you hang them, and then you wear them again. And you keep doing that for X amount of time. But what happens is after a while, you wash it as infrequently as you can. I know I've already said this in a different video, but you start to get, fades and whiskers and you start to get denim that actually looks like what you could go buy in American Eagle. Uh, but it feels different because the 21 ounce stuff is just so heavy. Like it's, it's really cool out there this morning. It was in the forties and uh, putting this on is like a, it's like putting on a jacket for your legs. Hashtag jacket for your legs. Um, Red Wing boots, I don't know if you can see them, and I'm not gonna do a prance, uh, but these are the Heritage, I'm gonna do it, hold on. Can you see? no, no, I'm not gonna do it, so never mind. Um, but just trust me, there's orange leather Red Wing boots on these feet, and um, Saddleback belt, Heritage belt, wicked thick, wicked tough, love this belt. Uh, wool, vest with little handy pockets and um, I like this this is new this is also new to me was not expensive at all because I've been going to eBay like a mofo and, and, uh, and buying a, you know some used stuff 
Let's see, what else? What else is new with you guys? That's all I got, really. That's all I got. I really want to show you all the boots, but I'm, I can't do a dance and get these legs this high. And I'm not going to kick the camera over trying. So, you guys be blessed. Maybe if you've watched it for this long, and again, I know I keep cutting my head off, but uh, maybe if you've watched it this long, maybe you needed to hear the first part about trusting your gut and, and get yourself out of those situations that that, uh, that you find yourself in and not waiting on validation. If you're here for the fit part, the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the drip, as the kids call it, the clothes, then uh, go to eBay, man. Uh, you, you don't have to, I mean, it's, it's like Goodwill, a little bit more expensive, but way better than Plato's Closet in those places. So, um, Anyway, that's it. I'm going to take the dogs and the cats back inside. That's it for today. We've got friends coming over. We're doing a, we're doing a, a black barn fest. That's what the brisket was for. So we'll touch back in later. You guys, be blessed. Talk soon.